Good morning, good morning. Un aplauso for Mark Alvarez and his beautiful rendition of La Cigarra, Mark of the Mark Show. Thank you so much for that uh, opening number for the uh, press conference for today's for today's uh, Fiesta de Palmas press conference. My name is Sochin Mora, I'm the Director of Communications for the City of McAllen and I'll serve as your MC for today's ceremony. Please, there's plenty of seats up front. Take a seat, we've got a lot of great, wonderful announcements today, so I don't want your feet to get tired because unless you're gonna start dancing, then you can stay back there. Before we get started, though, I would like to recognize all of our special guests joining us today, uh, starting with the Honorable Omar Quintanilla, Commissioner District 3. We also have our Assistant City Manager, Mr. Joe Vera. From the City Manager's Office, our Strategic Coordinator, Mr. Cesar Rodriguez. And of course, the great fire chief of McAllen, Jane Schultz. From our McAllen Convention Center facilities, Ms. Yahaira, Yahaira Flores Delgado and all of her staff. Our retail and business development director, Ms. Rebecca Oliguebel. and all of the great staff from the Office of Communication that keeps everyone informed about all the wonderful things happening with the city of McAllen. With the McAllen Chamber of Commerce, visit McAllen, we have our president and CEO, Mr. Josh Mejia. And I would also like to recognize Ms. Nedra Knurk, who was one of the original founding members of Palm Fest, which was the birth of Fiesta de Palmas. We also have some celebrities amongst us, including legendary concert promoter, Mr. Nano Ramirez. We also have with us from KTEX, Jojo in the morning. And my good friend that I listen to every morning, Mr. Mando San Roman from Super Tejano. And from our rock and roll station from K94.5, the rock station, Rock and Roll James. Thank you all so much for being here and being a part of this special announcement for this wonderful event that we host here in McAllen. To tell us about the partnership for Fiesta de Palmas and what it means to our community, please help me welcome the Honorable Omar Quintanilla. Good morning, everyone. It's a great day here in the city of McAllen. McAllen is a place where cultures blend, friends gather, and traditions are reimagined. As a bicultural city, McAllen weaves its cultural roots into every celebration to create new traditions and transform seasonal events into unforgettable experiences. Today kicks off the beginning of the greatest season of all in the Rio Grande Valley with the announcement of Fiesta de Palmas. This event has a rich history that has continued since it originated over 16 years ago. It has evolved each year thanks to new ideas, partnerships, and wonderful sponsors. The magic behind its success is that Fiesta de Palmas brings families together. It brought families together safely during the pandemic. We welcomed over 60,000 people last year, and this year will be even bigger. On behalf of the city, we welcome families across Texas and beyond to visit the McCallum Convention Center and let's fiesta. Thank you, Commissioner. Yes, let's fiesta indeed. Uh, it is a wonderful cultural celebration here in our community, and we are so proud to host this event to talk about all of the amazing experiences that you can experience here in McAllen. I'd like to uh, welcome Mr. Joe Ben, our Assistant City Manager.
Thank you, Sochi. Good morning. From the largest illuminated holiday and helium balloon parade in Texas to the home of the original festival celebrating Latino culture, McAllen hosted over 803 events and generated $87.5 million in revenue in 2021. McAllen's continued innovation, community involvement has helped us to become a city of festivals with special events taking place all year long, with the majority being hosted right here at the McAllen Convention Center, the heart of South Texas. That is huge. When we thank everyone, and we thank everyone here today, including our partners, sponsors, and city employees for making it all possible. We have great sponsors, partners, and media partners. And one of those partners uh, that you'll hear about more in a little bit is uh, no one other than Nano Ramirez, who has been supporting our events here in McAllen for many, many years. And I, I give a special shout out to Nano because Nano and I have been working together for many, many years. I was able to work with Nano's father and uh, work with Nano. And of course, uh, Nano was uh, one of our ambassadors uh, back at Borderfest when, when I was there. So Nano, thank you for the continued support, sir. <laughs> McAllen's dedicated city events team worked with over 7,500 volunteers last year. We hosted a diverse number of community events, and uh, of course, Fiesta de Palmas is our kickoff to our event season. It brings something for everyone in the community. So I invite you to join us so that you can share our story, you can volunteer, or you can just come out and Fiesta. So see you at Fiesta. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vetta, for your leadership for those over 800 events and $87.5 million impact to our community. That is incredible. And certainly, if you would like to volunteer, we certainly would welcome that. If you just want to attend, we'll, we'll uh, see you there as well. Before I bring up our next speaker, I would like to recognize all of our sponsors for Fiesta de Palmas, starting with from the McAllen International Air Airport, Ms. Daniela Plata. Our other sponsors include Reliant, PepsiCo, Cigna, Whataburger, and joining us from Metro McAllen, Mr. Mario Delgado. Thank you for your sponsorship for this great event. We could not do it without you. To talk about all of the activities and events and experiences that will be happening at Fiesta de Palmas, please help me welcome Ms. Yajaira Flores, the Director of the McCown Convention Center Facilities. It is our differences that make us one. The city of McAllen is the epicenter where rich and diverse cultures blend together. We welcome our visitors with open arms. Our culture is no, not just Texan, tampoco es solo mexicana. It is uniquely and proudly McAllen. Fiesta de Palmas is a festival that celebrates la rica y diversa cultura de McAllen. Buenos días a todos y gracias por venir a esta presentación especial de nuestra emblemática Fiesta de Palmas. Good morning, my name is Yahaira Flores. I'm the director of the McAllen Convention Center and Convention Center Facilities. And we are here to announce the largest fiesta of the year, Fiesta de Palmas taking place right here at the McAllen Convention Center, October 21st to 23rd. I'd like to start off by thanking the wonderful staff that puts this event together. Putting events together is like creating small cities. We have to put up tents, we need water, we need electricity, we need experiences, and we put these events up and tear them down 
Every single day, the convention facility staff puts together over 500 events each, each year. So before we get started with today's lineup, I'd like to honor the staff that works really hard and is very proud of this event year, day in and day out. Now let's take a look at the top experiences coming to Fiesta 2022 with the beautiful tradition that we've brought throughout the years. The first experience that we have is the Voladores de Papantla. This cultural experience has been deemed by the United Nations as intangible cultural heritage of humanity. It is a dance performed by the Totonac people of Veracruz. It, every variant of the dance brings the life of the myth of the birth of the universe and the cultural performance will take place daily featuring a thrilling ceremony where the voladores scale a 98 foot tall pole and then descend down to the ground. The next experience that we have is Fiesta Kids. It also returns this year with an interactive learning experience like Into the Wild featuring real life animals, Dinosaur George, and new art areas for kids. Families will be able to ride the giant Ferris wheel and other rides at Fiesta Grand Carnival this, this year. We put together these educational experiences for our youth as well as fun experiences for our youth, which is part of the fabric of Fiesta de Palmas. You'll be able to take your fall family photo at Fiesta Pumpkin Patch and pick out your, your perfect pumpkin for the fall season. We are also excited to host many of the region's top artisans, and this year's Artisan Mercado, you'll, have, you'll see homemade crafts, clothing, and one-of-a-kind finds. And of course, everyone who visits Fiesta has to savor some of the best festival food in the 956 at the Fiesta Food Park. This event is for families, which really makes Fiesta de Palmas Ofrenda so special. We had over 100 visitors submit a photo of their loved ones last year to be honored at our Fiesta Ofrenda. And this year we will be doing the same right here in the Palm Lobby. And finally, come out with the entire family to take in a breathtaking Fiesta fireworks extravaganza each night of Fiesta. As you can see, there is something for the entire family at Fiesta, and this year we're excited to announce that Fiesta will be partnering with one of the music industry's very best to offer three days of unforgettable experiences. Ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, the legend, Nano Ramirez. fantastic acts that have been able to come to the city of McAllen because of Mr. Nano Ramirez and I am proud to announce that Fiesta de Palmas will be hosting the legendary concert stage honoring Mr. Nano Ramirez's 50th anniversary of bringing families together from across the Rio Grande Valley, Mexico and beyond to enjoy world-class entertainment. On behalf of the city of McAllen, we thank you for being a pioneer in the music industry and for improving the quality of life for over 50 years. Thank you, Nano Ramirez. <laughs> the
this year when we were working on the music lineup for Fiesta de Palmas, we really wanted to focus on something that was emblematic to our region. And so what is that? What music represents our region? It's not just uh, regional mexicano, it's not just tejano, it's not just country, it's not rock. It's a blend of all of those different types of music that we have been able to celebrate over the last 50 years because of visionaries like Nano Ramirez. So I'm very, very proud of this partnership. And I would like to present the first stage, which is going to be held Friday night. And I would like to call up Jojo from KTEX to, to announce our country Friday night lineup. Good morning. It's always a pleasure to be in uh, the city of McAllen. Thank you very much to uh, everybody who uh, joined us this morning. It's, uh, it's a great pleasure to work with Nano in the course of the city of McAllen. A lot of different uh, things that we do every year. Uh, we've worked with Nano for so many years and we've always told Nano, whenever we do a show, it has to affect and be a win for three different areas. Number one, the promoter, obviously Nano to the listener and of course the radio station. If we can get all three of those to win, you know that everybody's gonna be uh, very happy and the results are gonna be fantastic by the end of the night. We'd like to proudly introduce you to the uh, Friday night portion of uh, Fiesta de Palmas. This is gonna be a really neat opportunity. Introducing first, we're gonna have the legends of country. These guys have been around for ages. As a matter of fact, uh, some of these guys uh, were around back in uh, 1975. You'll remember Mo Bandy and Joe Stampley. They did a song called uh, Where's the Dress? It was kind of a little spoof of Where's the Dress? And um, they had a big hit with that one. Mo Bandy, of course, did Rodeo Romeo and Bandy the Rodeo Clown from back from 1975. They will open up the show. And then we have the guy that they know as the Little Round Mound of Sound. This guy would drive his own tour bus. This guy was, is still a licensed mortician. John Conley, rose-colored glasses, backside of 30. And I'll tell you what, if you're at the show Friday night, I would encourage you. He's gonna do a song called Busted. The song Busted he performed back, I believe it was in 1982, as a remake, and the song is basically about being broke. That night, several people felt sorry for him because they really thought that he was broke. So they started to pull out dollar bills and they started giving him dollar bills up on stage. Ever since that time, every time he sings a song busted on stage, people pull out their dollar bills and they donate it. So he's obviously not broke, but they decided to hang on to the money. After a couple of uh, shows, they said, well, we got to do something with the money. So now that they've started to uh, donate that money to uh, different food banks and different charities, more recently though, they've started to donate uh, money to uh, the uh, uh, different uh, uh, veteran foundations that they have and that they work with. So Mo Bandy, Joe Stampley will be kicking off the show on Friday night. We've also got uh, a dear friend of ours, Texas own Texas Tech Red Raider. I think we brought this one in for JR specifically. Pat Green will be a part of the uh, uh, scene on Friday night. He's uh, very well known in the Texas music scene. He's been down here many, many times and he loves coming down to the Rio Grande Valley. And then wrapping up the show on Friday night, none other than Easton Corbin. Originally from Florida, this guy wants to live in the state of Texas. He's been teasing about buying a, a home here in the Rio Grande Valley. We may be able to work that out. Joe, if we can work out some sort of tax deal or something, I don't know, you guys help out. But Easton Corbin will be closing out the show. He first came onto the country music scene back in 2010, a song called A Little More Country Than That. If you listen to him at that point, he sounds like a very young George Strait. They told me, they said, you can call him whatever you want as long as you play the song. We played the song and it became a huge signature hit for Easton Corbin. Of course, the other songs all over the road, Are You With Me? And of course, he's got a brand new one now called I Can't Decide. That's our Friday night lineup as we get ready to celebrate Nano Ramirez's 50th anniversary. Thank you. Now to talk about our Saturday night lineup, I would like to call up Mando San Roman from Super Tejano to announce our Tejano Saturday lineup.
almost as legendary as Nano Ramirez. <laughs> I wish. Uh, anyway, first of all, I want to congratulate you, Nano. Uh, it's been an honor to work with you throughout the years. How many of you remember La Villa Real? How many of you went to the dances at La Villa Real? Had some great times out there, not, not only the dances, the concerts, you know, the international artists, the rock concerts, all kinds of great music. Thank you, Nano, for bringing those artists where it probably wouldn't have been possible without you to have all these artists here in this area at that early stage of the development of the Nuestra Cultura de Musica aquí en el Valle del Rio Grande. To me, it's an honor to present uh, the uh, Tejano bands and I represent our, our company, which is Radio United, Super Tejano 102.1, where Tejano lives. And uh, we are honored to be here that day with an amazing, first of all, I'm gonna introduce uh, the uh, gentleman uh, who's gonna be the MC special guest. I, I know that a lot of people know him. He was actually part of the TV show that Mr. Arnaldo Ramirez Sr. had, Fanfaria Falcon. I'm sure some of you saw that show, or many, many of you. And Mr. Carlos Guzman is gonna be our special MC and uh, host for that night. Now, we're gonna start off uh, the night that day, actually the day in the afternoon with, uh, and, and it, by the way, it's gonna be on Saturday, October 22nd, with uh, a band that I personally perform with. We perform many a time at La Villa Real with Nano Ramirez and throughout the different events that uh, Nano has had uh, throughout the uh, course of his uh, uh, musical life. And that's Grupo Sereno, Grupo Sereno. We're gonna be opening up the show. Soon after that, we're gonna have a legendary accordionist that uh, he started the show band when it comes to conjunto music, Mr. Jaime de Anda. Used to be with Los Chamacos, now he's doing his own thing. Then of course, I know a favorite for Sochil, uh, who's uh, an amazing man that's had so many singers. He's been like the godfather of many of these bands, from Jay Perez to Emilio Navarra, Rem Herrera, to name a few, and of course, now recently with his uh, new singer, Cesar Martinez is doing amazing. David Ligarza y Los Musicales is gonna be part of the show. You get a ball. And what is a Tejano show without the legends, the legendary band that's had so many hits. Uh, they also have had Jay Perez as a singer, Adalberto Gallegos, Jimmy Edwards, who recently went to be with the Lord. But uh, this band is definitely a band that you must see. They are an amazing performance band. They are the big band sound of La Musica Tejana. The Latin Breed is going to be part of the show. And to finalize the night, of course, we can't uh, miss the evening of, without having a man that recently had a sold out show here in the Valley. And I guarantee you, Everybody's gonna to wanna to stay to the end of the night for the uh, Super Tejano night on October the 22nd. Make plans, send out uh, your messages to people to make sure to come on out here and not miss El Gato Negro, Ruben Ramos and the Mexican Revolution. And that, my friends, is the lineup, October the 22nd. Thank you again to the great city of McAllen, which we're always proud and honored to be a part of all their events. On behalf of Radio United and Super Tejano 102.1, and usually, Mano San Roman, may God bless you. And Nano Ramirez, Diosito te bendiga. Continue success, my brother. And now to introduce the Sunday night lineup from 94.5 The Rock, we have Rock and Roll James. Thank you very much, Yahida. Uh, I got a great idea for Nano, man, for your 50th anniversary, Nano. For your 50th anniversary, all that weekend, te debes hacer las patillas con a little mustache, otra vez te pinte las patillas, you know, sideburns. What do y'all think, right, right? Like old school, 1970s. I'm Rock and Roll James Q94.5. I'll rock all the time. I'm on every morning, and I want to thank you all for coming here this morning. And uh, I got to say, uh, you know, all my life I've been wanting to, you know, be a part of music. When I was a little kid, you know, I, I was attracted to music at a very young age. And uh, then one day I went to the Villarreal Convention Center. I was in seventh grade and I saw the first concert. And I said, that's what I want to do. I want to be on stage. I want to perform and I want to entertain. And uh, interestingly enough, my first concert wasn't a rock concert. I actually saw Sister Sledge 
and Shalimar. I was in seventh grade, and the ticket was seven bucks. And the ticket fee was like two bucks, I think. Right? But uh, ever since then, I started going. I got into rock. I ended up going to La Via Real practically to every concert he ever brought down. Motley Crue back in 1981. Iron Maiden and Judas Priest in 81 as well. That one just absolutely changed my life. And, uh, and just, it, it was a nonstop, uh, you know, list of big time national acts. And what's interesting is a lot of bands that came down here for the very first time when they were barely starting out, ended up becoming worldwide global hits like Motley Crue. Guns N' Roses came down with Alice Cooper. They opened up for Alice Cooper and most of the people that saw them were like, wow, you know, they didn't think the band was gonna get that far and look at them today, they're headlining stadiums. So Nano, I wanna thank you for, you know, bringing all those bands throughout the 50 years and, uh, you know, not just sticking to one genre, like Regional, Tejano, you brought down country, you brought Internacional, you brought down rock, you brought down heavy metal, you brought down war. <laughs> I don't know if you've all ever heard of war, but check them out on YouTube. They dress like monsters. They throw blood all over the audience. It was crazy. It was the most disturbing show I ever saw in my life. But the most disturbing part of it was that I enjoyed it. Right? But uh, it's like, you know, Nana was willing to give all the bands, uh, you know, a shot. And it was always awesome to see those bands. And another thing that Nano has done, he's always giving, uh, given local rock bands opportunities uh, to open up for national acts. You know, I want to thank him for have, you know, letting us open up for uh, some major acts uh, throughout our career. My band's been around since 2011, and uh, since then, Nano's been giving us some opportunities, and it's been absolutely fabulous. And from there, we went on to play from El Paso to Arlington to San Antonio, Bandera, Lubbock, all over the place. So we appreciate Nano giving us uh, the opportunity to go on stage and perform in front of major national acts and be able to kind of build our chemistry and our image and our, you know, musicianship as well. So we're going to have an awesome Sunday to finish off the whole weekend. And uh, first of all, Nano called me up and asked about my band and I said, hell yeah, we'll perform for sure. And he asked about other bands that can play songs from other bands. You know, like they're called nowadays, So this is a phenomenon going on right now, tribute acts. And uh, I said, you know what? The guy to call is my friend Robert Hahn from Over at Enemy. And Robert was able to put together an amazing lineup of local musicians, top of the line musicians that uh, play tremendously well. And they will be playing some of the great songs and bands that have been here in the Rio Grande Valley, for example, Anthrax, uh, also Slipknot, Slayer, Megadeth, Metallica, Deftones, Iron Maiden. We have local bands uh, that have gotten together. The Slipknot band is absolutely fantastic. They bring out the props, they bring out everything, and it's just going to be awesome. And of course, my band Whiskey D will be headlining as well. And uh, we appreciate Nano for the opportunity. I didn't even have to think twice about it. If I had to do anything else that Sunday, I would have canceled it just to be here and be part of something that's been am as amazing as 50 years in the promotion uh, promoter business, which not many can say. Uh, I don't know if you all can agree with me, but I don't know of any other promoters that have lasted 50 years. Do you all know anybody? No, why? Because Nano is one of those guys that uh, has integrity and uh, he just knows the pulse of the Rio Grande Valley, the pulse of the audience. And we appreciate you, Nano, for having us. And uh, we can't wait. How many of y'all are gonna make it out here? You're gonna tell everybody on your social media platforms that this is going to be the biggest Fiesta de Palmas in the history of Fiesta de Palmas 2022. I'm Rock and Roll James, thank you so much for listening to me on Q94.5, I'll rock all the time, and check out my YouTube show, hashtag PVT, and Whiskey D. We'll see ya. Some of you might know that uh, I started my career uh, a little over 20 years ago working at La Villarreal. It was something that was really special. I was 
able to learn about concerts and about venue management. Um, but the, the one thing that I learned uh, from Nano Ramirez was his incredible work ethic. Before every show, he would greet every person at the door. After every show, he would stay up, he would pick up trash, he would clean. He would do it with a smile. And it really showed me at a young age that you're not too big or too small to do whatever it takes to make sure that your event is successful, that your business is successful, and that's something that I've taken through the years that I've tried to emulate to make sure that, uh, that I can have that same level of work ethic, that I can make sure that I knew that I can do whatever it took to make an event successful. And I learned that uh, starting at a very young age from Mr. Nano Ramirez. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with him for over 20 years, first as an intern, then as an employee, then as a uh, client, um, then as a partner, and now uh, I'm happy to be able to, to bring him back and, and introduce him, although this man does not need any introduction. Please help me welcome legendary concert promoter Nano Ramirez. Fifty years, wow. I'm only 45, how could that happen? You know, still getting, getting, I don't understand it. But uh, thank you to the city of McAllen. You know, this is where it all started a long time ago. Thank you, City Commissioner Quintanilla. Mr. Joeda, we've been involved. Thank you for your kind words. Uh, we've been partners since the opening of uh, Dutch Arena. And uh, we've continued here with the McAllen Civic Center. Thanks for your hire. I, uh, she, she, said it, she said that she was an intern for two years and then worked for me for the next two years. Was, I was not paying her for two years, and then she came out finally one day and says, when are you going to pay me? <laughs> so at that point, uh, you know, she's been amazing, and look where she is now. I'm so proud of her, from an intern to Villarreal to the GM, not only of the McAllen Performing Arts and McAllen Convention Center, and a lot of special events. Thanks also to the kind words from my very good friends, uh, Rock and Roll James, Mando San Roman, and, uh, and where's Jojo? Jojo, thank you all. Without your support of the radio station, you know, the, and the, of course the fans that buy tickets, go to the concerts, I, I wouldn't have been where I am today. It all started at the McAllen Civic Center, October 14, 1971. For six years, I was there, and uh, then I always had a dream of having my own event center, which became a reality in 1971 with the opening of the Villarreal Special Event Center that lasted uh, 30 years. And it's uh, <clears throat> what an unbelievable and exciting historic 30 years right to the Villarreal. Never in a million years or in my wildest dreams that I expect to have hosted Legendary international rock, country, world-class wrestling, boxing, weddings, quinceañeras, school, church, pol political fundraisers, arts, crafts, children's plays, bingos, etc. My goal was only to have my regular Tuesday night dances that I started at the McAllen Civic Center and maybe on the weekends have weddings and quinceañeras. I myself and at all, every time I realize all the historic and legendary artists, like some of you all already uh, kind of mentioned, and they have started here at the McAllen, because I've always said McAllen is the entertainment capital of South Texas, right? <laughs> well, from, uh, say, I'm at all, you know, from George Strait to Guns N' Roses, from Juan Gabriel to Selena, from Tejano Legends to Howie Mandel, from the Beach Boys to Marky Mark, to Santana, Snoop Dogg, World Boxing Championship Wrestling, and the least list goes on and on. I was blessed on my first six years hosting dances at the McAllen Civic Center, but I was also hosting dances in Harlingen on Mondays, Tuesday McAllen, Wednesday 
in Brownsville, and once in a while on Saturdays, uh, Fishing Community Center, Rio Grande City, or Jesse's Ballroom. And my wife was my sidekick, working in the box office all those years, and, uh, and still taking care of three babies at home, and still making it to school at 8 o'clock in the morning. Thank you. Yeah, and after the Villarreal, there were six years, of course, in the Civic Center, 30 years to the Villarreal, and I've continued uh, doing shows after the set closing of the Villarreal in 2006 by hosting shows here at the McAllen Convention Center, McAllen Performing Arts, at both arenas in the Valley, and shows at the arenas in Corpus Christi, San Antonio, Laredo. And uh, then I continued also doing shows. Right after the Villarreal, I was two years, through the help of Jer, my son, we did two years of concerts at the uh, uh, Palmas Race Park, and then we had a uh, run at the, uh, the City of Far gave me eight, uh, $800,000 to remodel the Far Event Center in Old Bingo Grande. And I spent, we spent how much money, Jared? Three million dollars for the city? <laughs> but we gave, a, we we're proud that we gave the city of Far a first class uh, event center. So that was our home for 10 years. But once again, at the same time, I was hosting dances uh, all over the place. I have always been an independent promoter all these years. And uh, then I was joined by my son JR, uh, my partner, after he graduated from. Uh, Texas Tech in 96. Then uh, an old friend of mine that promoted his first concert at the Via Real, promoted foreigner is Richard Novello. We became pretty good friends and we hosted shows uh, San Antonio Laredo Corpus. Then he went over to uh, Canada, kind of abandoned me here for a while. He came back and uh, we've been, he warned me to say this, he says, he, if you call my name and you recognize me, don't call me as your partner. Call me business partner, not partner. <laughs> okay, my business, he became a business partner in uh, 2017. <laughs> Finally got it, huh? <laughs> uh, then in 19, uh, 2019, I was impressed with uh, two young wannabe promoters. Uh, they were doing an excellent job, I was really impressed. I call them the young punks, even though uh, they're in their 30s. But uh, real aggressive, they're excellent in the something new, uh, social media, which uh, I was getting a little behind on that. And uh, Jer was the one who was trying to keep up. But these guys were amazing, and uh, they're street teams. They're uh, going all over the valley. Anyway, we, uh, we call each other now as the last three years, we call, it, uh, we call our team the, the A-Team. <clears throat> so the right actually continues, but this milestone would not have been possible without the family. I already mentioned my wife, Dalinda, uh, putting up with me uh, 50 years in this industry and 53 years of marriage, damn. Que aguante, damn. Uh, and uh, not only was she, like I said, her, uh, that she was my uh, uh, partner in all the, and she is my partner. <laughs> uh, and the first six, seven years, going, like I said, going with me to Harlingen, Brownsville, McAllen, all those cities who worked the box office. But she actually gave me my first lesson how to be profitable in a, in a concert. Our first event was October 14, 1971 at the McAllen Civic Center, so that's where it all started. After the event, we had a pack house and uh, we were doing the accounting and we wanted up losing money. And I said, honey, I think we lose money. We had a pack house. She said with her arms on her side, where were you the whole night? Well, you know, I was so excited, saw the wrong crowd. At the entrance, before they bought the ticket, I was there greeting and thanking people, like Jaira said, that uh, became a tradition. And uh, it says, and what were you doing? You let half of the people in just because you knew them. He says, the guy in the service station, does he give you free gas? No. The guy in the uh, can spend shop, does he give you free shirts or clothing? No. 
the grocery store guy, how come you let him in free? The following week, I learned my lesson. Thank you, honey, still. Yeah. The following week, I still kept the tradition of greeting everybody that came in, but after they bought a ticket. <laughs> Once again, it's uh, been an honor working uh, with the city. That's 51 years when it all started, I'm, I'm here. And uh, all the friends that uh, I have acquired, all the radio stations that have been part of my success. And, uh, and uh, in closing, I say, 54. Even in a wheelchair, but well, well, friend, my friends, in closing, and I, were, I, I borrowed a few words from Paul Anka. I say it clear. I state my case, of which I'm certain, and Pukem Nano continues to my last breath. To think I did all that I did in 50 years, and may I say, not in a shy way, and let the record show that I did it my way. Thank you, Nanua. Thank you very much for your contributions to the entertainment industry here in McAllen in the Rio Grande Valley. So there you have it, folks. Fiesta de Palmas, October 22nd through 24th. We hope to see you here in McAllen, here at the McAllen Convention Center facilities. You uh, can come in free on Friday. There is a ticket for the concert, and then there's admission fee for Saturday and Sunday, but the concerts are free, so make plans if you want to volunteer. Uh, put it on your calendar, and uh, we'd like to thank all of you who were here today for the press event, and of course, all of our sponsors and media partners for Fiesta de Palmas, and everyone from the city of McAllen. And so we'll see you at Fiesta de Palmas. Thank you so much.